bounce around here, but what did you think about the news tonight when uh, Triple H came out there to us? Accept his uh, slammy. Uh, and he was talking about the fact that we haven't seen the last of Undertaker, that Undertaker's going to keep going and wrestling. I tell you, not hiding behind that hair. He looks old. He looks, <laughs> he looks old. He looks, no, he looks older. He does. He looks older than I do. Mm -hmm. But uh, he, um, yeah, I mean, he looks better, obviously. He had to, you know, get up with the times. But um, I, I thought Undertaker would come out. But I, I get a little tired of myself. I'm a huge Undertaker fan. I love Undertaker. Um, old school Undertaker, mostly, you know, up to the ministry. Right. But, um, you know, I get a little uh, as a fan, a little perturbed about Undertaker not showing up at Hall of Fames, not showing up at functions because of the that gimmick. That is a little weird, Not right? coming out because of the gimmick. I mean, uh, aren't we all in tune that it's a gimmick? Yeah, of course. So why can't he come out? No one... Just like, why can't he be at the Hall of Fame? That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life, that he's not able to be spotlighted or shown sitting in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. You know, I, I, that, 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 it just doesn't make any sense to me. You know? Does that make sense to you? No, it doesn't because it's like he, ever since he went back to his dead man or the the yeah the dead man gimmick, it's not like he's Mad Mark Mar Marin or uh, you know Mad Mark anymore. I mean, you know, I mean, it's, to it's, me, even you can do a thing where you can, back in the day at the Slammies, they had the missing link there in a tuxedo, and it was yeah. funny to see him all painted up in a tuxedo. Well, you see Kamala there with Sika. You know what I mean? Yeah, I remember the little spotlighting yeah. like the crazy. The, the, the character wrestlers who should not be in public, but they're even at the slam. Yet they think like the Undertaker. They have this image of him that oh we can't, oh we can't be part of that. You know, I'm like why? Why are we why are we protecting someone whose car whose career is well over and not for nothing? He's going to be like probably a, a co-owner of this company someday. I think he's going to be like an investor or he's going to be like a partner to Triple H. It's just and too this much. guy's got a, a big time. Forget that's why I laugh. I'm like. People say, oh, he can be an agent. I'm like, you think Undertaker is going to take an a, a lowly agent <laughs> job? Undertaker is going to be like a vice president of this company. Are you yeah. kidding me? What, the, did Magic Johnson take an agent job with the Lakers? I think he would you know be what I mean? more well, Undertaker is on a whole level. I don't know. Anybody, you can hate on the Undertaker all you want, but you're kidding yourselves if you think Undertaker is on the level of Dean Malenko. Okay? <laughs> He's not. He, if you agree with me, Undertaker is not going to be no agent. No, Vince McMahon He's absolutely. He's going to be much higher than an agent. Vince, Vince absolutely loves Undertaker. I can see Undertaker doing something more along the lines of Jim Ross's jobs. So, exactly. He's going to be a, a, like a decision maker in this right, company. I right. mean, he's you no know, agent. I always laugh. Oh, he could be a trainer and agent. I'm like, are we, do you guys realize the value <laughs> of the Undertaker in this company? I'm saying, yeah, Jeter could be a water boy for the Yankees. <laughs> Jeter, Jeter could do what Adam Sandler did for that football team in the movie. Oh, shit. I'm sure they'll give him a job. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, didn't they give Babe Ruth a hot dog job? At the hot yeah, dog he, was selling, he was selling hot dogs and hummers. No, I really, you know, it's so funny. People claim to be such in-tune fans who know what's up, and I'm like, why would you? Then that's a dumb statement to make. Right. I mean, it really is. I see that all the time. Well, Undertaker is obviously going to be an agent after he retires. I'm like, agent? Are you kidding me? You know how much money this guy demands? And by the way, you know how much money he's going to demand for an appearance if he ever goes out in public and does an autograph session? Jesus. Yeah, promoters, get your, uh, promoters, you better fucking uh, get your house deed on the line. <laughs> you, you better buy some fog Seriously. machines. <laughs> Those $3,000 paydays, yeah, just think of that. That's, that's a drop in the bucket of what you're going to pay. Oh, my God. Yeah, and you have to buy at least 100 fog machines and purple black lights. Oh, clear. You guys, like I said, man, I don't know. Like, do we watch the same product? I can just see him sitting there at an autograph table. He's got fog machines around him and purple lights above his head. <laughs> Some, so, uh, you know, just like in baseball, some play, some players are special. I don't know if anybody's <laughs> ever gotten that before. You know, that's why they have those contracts, you know. Oh, you know, shit. You know, fucking uh, just uh, unbelievable. But in all seriousness, like I said, that's annoying that he, at least he can't come out and accept the award. I mean, he, yeah. he's not on that. that. That's where you draw the line of separating the boys and the men there. I mean, you know, if you do, I mean, the Slammies are a goof, but, you know, he should at least come out. Did you really think that that was the match of the year though i mean come on the other ones was uh john cena and the rock john, uh john cena and brock lesnar and fuck what was the fourth one i blinked on it i would have put john cena and cm punk in chicago yeah that's what i was saying too i was even telling tink that i'm like why in the hell was that not there that was absolutely erupting you know and that that wasn't even on the list it was like what the hell I guess they didn't want the fans to vote for that because that would have been clearly the one. Yeah, I don't know. You know? I, I just, you know, like I always thought, well, what was some, well, tell me about because I didn't see when I was, like I said, I was out shopping at the time, but I was hearing about it and checking it out online. But uh, when Ric Flair came out, how did that come about? That was, uh, he came